Hey everyone, Ben Crosswhite here, and today I wanna to talk to the ladies. I wanna to talk to ladies about five exercises that you can do to have your legs looking like Carrie Underwood. I recently went to work out with Carrie and her trainer Eve with Bethany Schultz of Dearly Bethany. Uh, we went and worked out with her and, and saw how fit she really was. And I was able to see the training protocols that she goes through on a weekly basis. And I talked to her trainer Eve about things that they did on a regular basis. So I'm putting together five exercises to get legs like Carrie Underwood. Everyone wants legs like Carrie Underwood. Uh, but remember, everyone has their own body type as well. So these are all good strengthening, conditioning, muscle toning, and overall fat loss exercises. But everyone has different genetics. Everyone's gonna carry their weight in different places and gain muscle mass differently. So keep that in mind, stay encouraged, and uh, let's get into it. All right, so this first exercise, a sumo squat with the heels elevated and a weighted dumbbell. I like the dumbbell better. You can get a little better um, vertical hold on it than a kettlebell. Kettlebell, the distribution's a little different, but um, anything weighted is fine, but make sure your feet are at 45 degrees, turn them out a little bit, your heels are elevated, your knees are out, and you're working all of those adductors and inner thighs, keeping your back straight. So you see my chest is up, I can read, in the mirror, I can read what's on my shirt, Crossway Fitness, and, uh, and your back is locked in place. So your shoulder blades are down, retracted back, your chest is up, and you're pushing through the heels. And notice I'm not locking out at the very top. I'm gonna keep a slight bend and flexion at the very top, and then coming right back down, keeping those knees wide, and pulsing, like so. Okay, so keeping pressure on the heels, knees are wide, Make sure you keep that back straight, as I always say, keeping the back straight, very important there. And relax the shoulders. Don't shrug, don't tense up in the neck. Try to relax down. And make sure you put all the pressure on the adductors and the quads. Um, vastus medialis obliques, you're gonna feel that a lot right here on this inside of the knee. You're gonna feel those four muscle groups in the inner thigh and the adductors, gracilis, pectineus, adductor magnus, and sartorius. They run all on the inside and it's gonna be a great toning, great conditioning exercise. So make sure you do it, add it into your workout. Okay, so the next one is, you guessed it, single leg Bulgarian split lunge. And this one's a great one, it's an all time favorite. You ask any of the Miss USA girls I trained in the past, they'll all tell you we did this weekly, at least a variation of this weekly. And today I'm gonna to show you the variation of a heavy loaded single leg Bulgarian and where to put your foot placement. Make sure when you put your foot up, a lot of people will bend their toes, they'll put their feet up and their toes here, and then their range of motion is compromised and they're also pushing their body weight forward, which is a lot more pressure on the knee, a lot more on the quads, which you're already gonna feel quads. So make sure the top of your foot is down and you're coming down to where your knee can pretty much touch the ground. You can have a pad here, but you don't want that front knee to cross the toes. You wanna keep your shoulders back, and you can adjust your foot placement slightly depending on where you're trying to work, but I like to keep it where my knee is pretty much right over the toes. So keeping chest up, shoulders back, driving up at the top. Now we're gonna do 10 reps, and then you're gonna drop it. And we're gonna do 10 plyo jumps. So 10 and 10, weighted, unweighted. Um, it's a good post-activation potentiation exercise where you have the weight and then you immediately go into the jump. It's a great one to do, but it's a great toning, conditioning. Every week, you gotta work this in. All right, so the next ones are donkey kicks. And I like every variation of donkey kicks. There's a lot of different ones you can do from the ground up, keeping the knee at 45, breaking the knee out a little bit more to 90. Um, there's different ways to do it. Now, I like the one on the band elevated about knee level. So you wanna put it about knee level here. We're gonna put your foot in, make sure it's a good, well-attached band. Uh, you're gonna step back far enough to where you can still reach the pole or whatever you have that attached to, but you want good range of motion. So you're gonna be back from it a decent amount. A lot of people drop that foot when they come in. Keep the foot high, bend at the knee, and as you press back with the leg, you can see I'm pushing my entire body backwards. forward and back. 
And you can tell I'm rotating a little bit, but try not to. Try to keep the hip squared up to the ground the entire time. Try not to rotate the pelvis and uh, try not to turn the foot out either. Try to keep it straight as possible. Driving back, mainly with the glute, holding at the top, and you can even come up a little bit more at the top. It's gonna activate that glute a little bit better. And then bending back to 90 degrees. Again, a lot of people will start turning the hips back. Try not to do that. Keep the hips squared up, get the leg back straight, and even get a little more elevation once you kick it back completely straight. Okay, so if you don't have any mini bands, get some. They're very much needed. Uh, they're in a lot of programming that I do, and they're great to use, especially for females. There's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, different band resistances are always great on my, the heavy band now. But you wanna put that band right below your knees. The lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. But right below the knees is great because it's not going to put too much torque on the knee itself. But this one's a pulse and it's a side lateral step with pulses. So we're going to go about hip width or shoulder width apart. Keeping chest up, shoulders back, knees are not crossing too far over the toes, back is straight. And you're pulsing just a little bit. See I'm coming up just a little bit here. On the fifth one we're going to come up, almost locking out but not fully. Side step and then back in. Okay, standing up, coming back to the side. I like to go three over three back. Depending on the person and the client that I'm training, uh, if it's Christina or Bethany or one of my Miss USA girls or someone of that caliber, I'm gonna have them do probably 15 to 20 reps. So keep that in mind, stay low on the pulse. Make sure you do five pulses, stand up almost fully, sidestep and go again. It's a great one to do. All right, so this last exercise, step ups on the bench, but we're going up and over, side to side, all one leg, and then we're gonna switch legs. Make sure your hips stay pretty squared up. Now you can rotate slightly, but if you do too much, you're not gonna feel the glute. And that's the main thing working on this. You're gonna obviously feel a lot of quads. Any step up you do is gonna be a lot of quads, but the glutes are gonna activate because when you step across, you're rotating, the knee is over here, you're going at an angle and you're gonna focus on the gluteus medius on the side at that point. Another big thing is to make sure you don't step completely on the ground. All the weight should stay on the right leg or the foot this up, coming back over, stay balanced. The knee can cross a little bit over the toes. Just keep balance and try not to rotate side to side. So try not to do that. Try to stay squared up in front of you. The knee is right over the toes. It can go a little over if you need to, but all the weight again is gonna be on that right foot. You're just tapping side to side. It's not resting fully on that down leg. So it's a great one to do. Hit both legs. I usually keep it around 10 to 12 reps. Up and over is one. Uh, you can add weight to it. You can do weighted, unweighted, do a drop set, but it's a great one to do. So make sure you add it in and enjoy. Hey ladies, thanks for watching my video. I hope it helps. I hope that you can get the best legs you've had in your life, no matter what age, no matter what shape you are in. You can always start somewhere. Keep grinding. It's progression, not perfection. Remember that. And, uh, and Carrie Underwood is, uh, has some great legs and she works very hard for them. I spoke with her about that. I spoke with her trainer about that. And she works hard, but again, she is a performer. She has her own genetics. You are you, so stay you. Just work hard and don't give up.